Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Naval Action. So this is going to mark the return of something I tried about a year ago. And it's gonna be ship reviews. So we're, the first ship I'm gonna review is gonna be this thing. Which is one of the five American ships. One of the five American ships in the game, which the American ships is the Niagara, I think, the Constitution, um, the Niagara, Constitution, the Lynx, the Fair American, which is the brig and the Navy brig, and the soon Essex. When that comes in, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to do a ship review on the Lynx, which. It's kind of an odd one out since, unlike the starter ship, which is the basic links, no basic cutter, this ship only has si 8 guns versus the basic cutter's 12. Which makes means this has more armament. So the question is what is the role of the. Um, shit. The links. Yes, I'm reviewing the links. I'm an idiot. So what's the role of the Lynx? Well, first of all, if you didn't notice, which I need to update on the wiki, it has 50 crew. So it has 10 more crew than the than the cutter, the basic cutter. But it also has something else which is kind of hidden. It has some bonuses to boarding, just like the privateer. Of course, the privateer is for the most part a better ship has five than this has five more crew. Has 12 guns versus this one's 8. And it's based on the same design. However, the Lynx is excellent for hunting traders for one reason. If you want to use it for that. It's speed. There's only one ship in the game which is faster than the Lynx according to my data. And that is the Renome. At the best point of sale, the Renome can go 14 and a half knots, while the Lynx best point of sale can go 13.8 knots, I think. However, due to the rigging on this Lynx, if you take the average speed of all the points of sale, you will find that on average, the Lynx is a faster ship. So, on average, the Lynx is the fastest ship in the game. Of course. Only having 8 cannons means that she doesn't see a lot of use, however she is the first craftable ship. So there's that, but really she is a very niche ship due to the, her low amount of cannons. Most people go for more cannons the better, including for the most, sometimes me. Well, before she used to be the starter ship, however, she suffered from being extremely slow to grind through due to only having 8 cannons. And, and this is really the big problem with the Lynx. It's cannon count. Like, the Lynx is a, she's a decent ship. I enjoyed the Privateer. I used to hate it because... Well, I won't go through that story, but I used to hate it. But the Lynx is an alright ship. She's just outgunned by literally every ship in the game. But she has the advantage of being fastest. However, one problem with that is she her speed for port battles at least can't be used due to flags weighing 100 tons while the links can only carry 50 tons I believe. Which is a bit of a downside of the links. But, because of her speed, she would be an excellent exploration ship, possibly. Of course, right now there's no proper exploration mechanics, so that's kind of... Means that, let's be honest, the Lynx is kind of useless now. And also, it's got two cannon ports on the rear, but you can't mount cannons there, so that's a bit... I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, I, I'll, I think, personally, I would like the Lynx more than the Cutter. Of course, 
the privateer is just objectively better. But they, uh, she's an alright meh, alright meh, somewhere between their looking ship, the Lynx. She is fast, uh, and that's really what she's got going for her. That was a lag spike. On average, like average point of sale, average speed on every point of sale. The Lynx is just the fastest ship. However, her cannons will always be the limiting factor. That's why we you almost never see Lynxes sailing around. Also, the basic cutter is free. Not that I agree with it being fully free, but but it's free, so you know, if the it kind of the Lynx loses its purpose a bit. I think that you should get personally. This is my personal opinion. Not directly related to the review, but I think the first ship, the ba first basic cutter, should be free. And after that, if you need a free ship, it's gotta be basic links. That's my opinion. Because, well, it'll artificially limit the use of the link, artificially promote the use of the links, but I don't know. Personally, I don't like the fact that the basic cutter is free. I, I like that we started off with it, because starting off in the basic links, oof, that was awful. We had to do that back in the good old days of uh, the open world, and in the sea trials, in fact. And just getting the damage done with 8 cannons, like, the links has 50% more cannons. It's a huge difference. But, you know, the links, she has her role as the fastest if not one of the fastest ship ships in the game at, at least according to the data I have maybe it'll change in the future the Renom may hold second place on average simply due to wind you know because uh, good luck getting this speed with a Renom at this point of sale Yeah. So I'm not too much fan of the links simply due to the amount of can cannons. Like I enjoy sailing her, I guess, but the small amount of cannons and of course the small storage space makes her practically useless. Except for exploration which isn't properly in the game yet. So Yeah, practically she's a useless ship. Which is a bit disappointing, but I get it since her armament compared to other ships is lacking. Like, this is the only four gun sh ship in the game, all the others have six or above. And how many ships do we have uh, on six? We have the Privateer, the Cutter, the Pickle. That's three ships. The Yacht, although that's uh, only if, if you bought it on pre order, so that's four. Four ships. Then, if exploration ever comes in, this ship would be extremely useful. But as long as there's no sort of exploration mechanic, this ship simply has no real advantage that really mm, promotes the use of the links. Just because of her armament. She can, just like all the other ships, she can carry 6 pound mediums or longs or 12 pound carronades. The privateer can carry 18 pound carronades, which makes the privateer better as well. But it's just, it's a great ship. She turns well, she's fast, she sails well, she's decent looking. I like the look personally of the links. Not so much of the privateer. I'm not a fan of the paint job of the privateer. But it's just her armament. Nothing more to say really. Her armament is what disappoints her. And that's gonna be my conclusion. She's a great ship overall. But she's let down by her armament. And the fact that you can get three basic cutters. Means there's. Right now there's no point in having the links in the game. But at least she gets the statement of being the fastest ship in the game. So yeah, 
thank you all for watching this hopefully rejuvenated series. I'll try to get those ship reviews out once in a while. I wanted to start with the links because she's kind of the odd one out and nobody ever sells the links. So that's why I wanted to do a review and well now everybody sh that watches this should know why nobody uses the links. It's simply the ornament. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank you.